guys, welcome to Once Upon a Review. Woohoo! This is the first episode! I'm Katie. I'm Bianca. Hi! Hello Hi. out there, YouTube land world and fellow Oncers. You think of this episode. Um, I really liked it. I like the concept of the show, but I thought it would have been like way cool if you thought Henry was lying the whole time and you didn't know they were in a story world and you were like, this kid, what's up with him? And then you were like, oh snap, he's crazy. No, like if some little kid came up to me and was like, um, so you're my mom and P.S. you're from a fairy tale book and your mom is Snow White. What? No. No, no. <laughs> but the fact that they open with the story tale, you're like, okay, the kid's telling the truth and nobody else believes him. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of that's kind of where I was going with it. I liked it. I thought it was cool. But I was like, also, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I'd believe this kid right away. Like, right away. But it takes Emma so long to even, like, come to terms with everything. It's you guys will see. But okay, why don't we do a character introduction? So for people who have not watched the show, fans of the show, want to get into the show, we'll just go by like the main characters, yeah? Okay, so let's talk about Emma. Let's talk about who she is. She's like the savior type and she's she's just great really. Like I love Jennifer Morrison who plays Emma. She's does a phenomenal job and she's yeah, the savior. Yeah, she's kind of like this rough and tough, hard edges kind of character with like a kind of soft spot and cares about people but doesn't want people to know that she cares about them. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's really, she has a soft side. Like in the first, in the pilot, you're gonna see like she makes this wish on this cupcake and she's all, she's kind of a badass. She's also kind of like a bounty hunter in the show. But um, she makes this wish that she wouldn't be alone anymore. Or is that the wish she makes? Like, I don't think they tell us the wish but she's okay. kind of like, it's my birthday and I'm lonely. When? <laughs> and then <laughs> this is a child comes. Oh, look, a child, a son. Make blow the. What did you say earlier? You said blow the candle. See the child. Like what? It's like you blow the candle and then oh look a child. That's ah! how children at home. That's how babies are made. Anyways, that introduces our next character, which is Henry. And Henry is awesome. Henry is like the heart of the show. Like. Henry is the boss. Well, kind of. He's a baby. Like we watch, we're watch. We've like been fans for like a couple years now. So like now he's like older and whatever. But if you watch the pilot, he is a baby. Like he's it's so such a little baby. He he's is so, so cute. cute. He's adorable. Yeah. He's and like this little boy is like. Hi, I believe in fairy tales and everything, and <laughs> too. Yay! It's it's fantastic. Okay, let's get into the villains of the show. Dun, 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 dun. Regina! Let's talk about Regina! Evil. The evil queen! <laughs> I actually, I secretly like Regina, like okay. even when she's being evil, because okay. she's so good at it. Okay. She's so good at being bad, it's kind of scary. Yeah, it's, she gets this like glass, her eyes like glaze over kind of when she's being evil and she's like, ugh, I'm just gonna be evil. She's like, she's I like, will kill you. <laughs> I will cut him. Like it, it, it gets. It gets she's intense. Good. She's really intense, and, and she has motives. She but does. You don't know that initially in this episode. No, not in this episode, but she's kind of just like, um, I don't care about your life. I will still kill you. <laughs> exactly. So eat my don't. apple. <laughs> I eat dare you. My apple. Exactly. One really fun fact about Once Upon a Time that's ABC, and so Disney. And ABC, like Disney owns ABC, so they can do really just about anything with the stories, so crossovers, and all of that. Yeah, stuff. and they so, make up their own stories, really. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's really fun. It's super twisty. Okay, speaking of twisty, Rumple. Ooh, dark and twisty, Mr. Gold. Mr. Gold. I. By the this, way, we need to explain the parallels. Oh yes. Okay, so to take you back a notch or two. Yes. There are two stories, two parallel <laughs> stories going on. One which happens in the fairy tale land and one that happens in the real world. Mm -hmm. So everybody in the fairy tale land has their fairy tale character like Snow White, Prince Charming, the Evil Queen, Rumpelstiltskin, and then they also have a counterpart in the real world like Mr. Gold, uh, Mary Regina, Margaret, Mary Margaret, 
Fun fact, Mary Margaret, who is Snow White, her name is actually Mary Margaret Blanchard, which means white. Oh, yeah, that's so cool! All their I names didn't know that. correlate to their story. Oh, that's really fun. Yeah, or like, oh, Mr. Gold. That makes Mr. Sense. Gold, Rumble still skin. Regina means queen, evil queen. Oh, and, very uh, cool. I didn't know these things. David, which we'll get to later, who is Prince Charming. Uh, in his story, it's revealed that he's actually a shepherd boy, and David was a shepherd oh, boy and became Bible. king. Oh, the Yes! Yep. Yay! Wow, that's, fun facts. that's really cool! Fun once upon a time facts. Whoops, my notes. <laughs> okay, so Rumpel, played by Robert Carlyle, is one of the best he's characters. He's insane. insane. It is phenomenal how he plays this role. Like, you don't understand. Like, yeah. That voice. As you get more into the episodes, you'll see he does this like little like laugh prance. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It, it, it's like pure. <laughs> the way he does it, it's like pure glee mixed with pure evil. evil. And it's just like, I don't know if I should laugh or wet my pants right now. Exactly. I'm blanking. Take over. I think Snow White is super awesome <laughs> in the fairy tale world, but not so much in the real world. In the real world, she's like, oh, hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna be over here. I'm a teacher. Yeah. But I like, love how they style her, though. I love her little outfits. They're yeah. so like, and there's a huge distinction between like, that didn't happen. <laughs> There's a huge distinction between the fairy tale world and how they dress her, which is like all BA and like fur coats and like long and dresses. And, and, and the fairy, it goes with her character in the fairy tale world. Because in the fairy tale world, she's like, I'm Snow White. I'm a bandit. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Exactly. Yeah. And then the in the real world, it's almost like they flip the character upside down because she's very like, oh, hey, like uncertain maybe but still a great character yeah she's all about her and charming are all about like um hope and faith and believing that they're going to get out of a circumstance so it's like and the, the theme of other characters that comes up i think a little later in uh, it might be around the second episode is i will always find you yes that's either the <gasps> So good. Ever because it's like I love you so much I'm gonna find you or that's like the creepiest most stalker thing ever because you're like I will always find you <laughs> no matter where you go I will, I will find you. always find you <laughs> Charming is our last like featured character on the show um I forget who play oh we'll cut this off I forget who plays it usually I'm really good with like the guy who married her <laughs> Jennifer Goodwin's husband. Jennifer Goodwin's actual husband plays Charming, which they is They weren't like, married when they started the show. Yeah. But he found her <laughs> in real life now. <laughs> like, it's kind of cool. And she's a baby. This is kind of fast forwarding, of course, but. Not, not in the series, I mean in real in life. In real life, yeah. And so David. David Nolan is who he is in the real world, and in the fairy tale world, he's charming, Prince Charming. Yeah. Yeah, and the way he got his name was actually not because he's like a charming prince, but it was something sarcastic that Snow White called him, and he was like, like, please don't call me that. And so, <laughs> she kept yeah. calling him that. Yeah, she's, and she says it with an attitude. She's like, charming. <laughs> like, freaking charming. I love it. <laughs> um, I, I like in the fairy tale world, he's a really noble, upright guy. Mm -hmm. um, just really solid. In the real world right now, though, he's in a coma, so we don't really know what oh, he's like. Oh, yeah, yeah. The pilot, he's turns up like at the end, you're like, who's that guy in a coma? Yeah. So, just chilling there. Just chilling. So, you guys will see. What he becomes later on. So yeah, um, yes, this show is all about like happy endings and the concept of maybe this person Emma can bring back that happy endings to this little town of Storybrooke. Let's talk about Storybrooke. So what do you think about Storybrooke? Storybrooke? Is this little town oh, in Maine? It's, so it's like cute. a little like suburb cottage town. Yeah, far outside of Boston, um, and. It's like a it's like a water town, like it's near the bay, like a bay. They pretty much have all of the elements at their disposal, which makes it the perfect thing for any story. So you have like the bay and the water area, and then you have like the town where mm -hmm. it's like 
got different buildings. You have a city hall, you have a clock tower, you have a library, you have everything you need for anything to happen ever. And then of course you have a forest, which yeah. is on yeah. some other part. So you can pretty much go anywhere you want. The forest has like kind of hilly, mountain-ish things. So it's pretty much all the terrains you could ever want. So it makes for any story you want. Yeah, and like a little fun fact is that it's actually a real town. I mean, they like have to like up the town and like remake all the set stuff and like, but they take over real businesses and just change the like uh, the storefronts. The storefronts, exactly. And it's a real town, I think, in Vancouver. They shoot in Canada, so it's Canadian. really cool. <laughs> Um, so that's the story book. I personally really enjoy and love the Enchanted Forest. Yeah. That's like my thing. So the Enchanted but... Forest is where the fairy tale land people live. Yes. Um, and that's where all the castles and the cool forest creatures. CGI and comes in. Horseback riding and the battles and flames and swords and stuff happen. Yeah, so you'll see a lot of the flashbacks. Flashbacks are a huge part of the show. It. will come in place like in Enchanted Forest. So this story basically happens uh, in the fairy tale line it happens like right in the middle um, and it goes backwards and forwards between here we are in Storybrook and how did we get here and oh this was our life over here in the fairy tale land and so it kind of jumps back and forth between the two to fill you in on this overall plot that kind of broods in. It's so good and I hope you guys watch all of our reviews because we love Once Upon a Time. We're so passionate about it and it's awesome. Yep. So, yes. so that's the um, first episode. Yeah. Um, Emma is this cool chick who's like a bounty hunter but she's kind of a loner and uh, she winds up with a son and all of a sudden this kid shows up and says, hey, you're my mom. And she's like, yeah, okay, I can believe that. Um, and then he says, uh, but you're also from a fairy tale land. And she goes, nope, can't believe that. Uh, so they go on this journey and she takes him back to his town of Storybrook. And that's where we meet all of these characters and kind of learn a little bit about their lives. Um, but it's a mystery as to will Emma save the town? Is she actually the savior? Or is she not going to believe? Is she going to go home? Is this thing a wrap? So that's kind of yeah, the, and the you ideas. and you realize really quickly that everyone doesn't know who they are, and there's only certain people in the town who know who they are off the bat, and those certain people are evil. <laughs> so the story kind of sets it up for this um, overall theme of what is your true identity, mm -hmm. and that we get to watch that happen with this character Emma as she develops over time. But we get to watch that happen in each of the characters' stories of them realizing who they really are because of who they were before. Yeah, it's really awesome. So we'll talk about it episode by episode. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Yes, leave them below or tell us if you love Once Upon a Time too. So yeah, join us. <laughs>